Alrighty, lads. So it feels like it has been a very long time since I've played. Uh huh. However, if I remember right, we are in the mine, or not mine, but the entrance to like the underground um, hideout that he has. Oh, shoot. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't like expect to immediately be thrown into a fight. Lost ones. If these are running free here, I suppose there's not much left of the diggers. Yeah, it's almost like we can see the dead body. What? Farther down, My man's yeah. moonwalking. It belonged to an old landlord. When Adila and I came here, we always made sure the gate stayed shut. But someone must have opened it. Or maybe the Red Madness awakened the corpses and they did it themselves. Poor sods. My man just learned how to moonwalk. Holy crap. Okay. I can't even mind that. Those are the crystals that make me suffer, I'm pretty sure, but not 100% certain right now. Save real quick. Quick save, I guess. Whoa. There, up ahead. That's the clearing where Adila and I always went. If someone's waiting for us, then it'll be there. I. I don't think we should go down together. If Adila really is waiting down there, and I'm still not sure she is. I'm pretty confident she wants me to come alone, as our code said. So I suggest you stay hidden and cover my back. Sorry, I just moved my phone, so I'm not sure if that went through the mic. Uh... <sighs> yeah. You see that platform up ahead? This will get me down to the pit. You should take the path through the crypt, just down that tunnel a few steps back from here. Then stay hidden. This is all just a misunderstanding. I'm sure of it. So I'm supposed to go this way, and then he's gonna go get murdered down there. And then, yeah, that's the plan, okay. Not a big fan of the plan, but. Pretty sure calling his sister a serial killer was gonna turn out bad. Hey, sir, you're supposed to enter the building. I 
I didn't summon him to stand around and look pretty, but apparently that's his job now, so. Oh no. Oh, hi, buds. Luckily the paralysis doesn't stack. Again, just trying to think. So I'm at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight elemental. I think I'm at ten there. Originally, I thought if I had ten in two of these different categories, it would count um, for a bonus. And then I did a little bit of reading, which I originally didn't plan on doing. Um, turns out it's actually like two separate stones. Question is, which one do I want next? That'd be really good, actually, since I play the mage build. Yeah, and then a wolf form. This thing. Okay, let's loot some bodies. I want the bone meal. And arrows are always nice, but... Right now, going wolf form, I just feel so fragile. That just doesn't feel reliable to go that route.
Okay, I'm getting a lot closer. So you came. I have to admit, I didn't expect that. Adila, so it's true. What is this? Why am I here? And what did you do to that man? Still as forgetful as you were back then, aren't you, brother? To the circle, now! Oh, is she gonna sacrifice him? Or is she gonna transform him into something? On your knees! Or maybe just execute him. Now look at him, Jaspar. Look at him carefully. Valencia Duran. By the name of the sun. The man who killed our family. Correct. You should have seen it. How he screamed and begged for mercy. Pathetic. But I'm afraid I've got bad news for you, Valencio. Never again. I'll make sure that you never again hurt anyone. And I'll enjoy it. Just as I'll enjoy what I'll do to all those who are up next. Adela, please. So she is a serial this killer. Is ridiculous. You have no idea what you're saying, let alone what you're doing. Please, just... I know de I'm just gonna... Well, please. Better than this I is ever ridiculous. Did. You have I'll no idea what you're saying, stop. let alone what and you're doing. And I'll make doing. them all pay. Please, all just bastards who think they are above justice. <sighs> I should have known you wouldn't understand. Just look at you. Staring off into space and asking all these stupid questions, but you know what? I'm not here to justify myself. I'm here because I think that despite all you did, despite all you became, you deserve to witness justice as much as I do. To see this bastard pay for what he's done. And believe me, I will not make it quick. The Black Stone. Oh, damn. Then, then it's really true. You know of the stone? Yes. Yes, I... Uh, listen to me, Adila. Whatever you've done over the past months, you didn't do it of your own free will. The stone, it, it's evil, and it controls you. What is this, Jaspar? One of your brilliant jokes? We dark barracks have had this stone for generations. Father, he lived this calling, but he failed to see what the stone really was. A gift of fate. A means for us to carry out our destiny. To bring justice to a world where there is none. But I saw, and I will use it. No, no, no you're seeing this wrong. The stone, it, it's cursed. It wants you to... Shit, damn it, I, I just don't know what to say. Surprise, Jespar. You never did. But it doesn't matter now. Go, Jespar. I've changed my mind. Do we have to go and murder our sister? Thought I owed you this. But I really don't. You don't understand me, just as you never understood father. And listening to you talk makes me remember why I kept away from you all these years. Just look at what you've become, running around and working for the kind of people father tried to bring down. Treasure hunter. You're a thug. You might as well just have spit on father's grave. <laughs> yeah, you know. <sighs> all right. This is getting us nowhere. You obviously think you know what you're doing, but you don't. Which is why you'll now give me the stone. Before it'll make you do something you'd regret. What? The black stone. You'll give it to me. Something bad's about to happen, and without it, we won't be able to stop it. You can keep doing whatever it is that you do, but you'll have to do it without magic. I'm sorry if this isn't what you wanted to hear. So, this is why you really came. You want the stone for yourself. What did they pay you just far, huh? What? No. Uh, go. Adila, I... Go! As you wish. I'm sorry. You... <laughs> Yo, she just murdered her. I mean, murdered him. Who are you? I thought so. I 
I can't do anything. Fuck. Damn. Your brilliant jokes. We talk. Maybe I stone for generations. Bob, what in blazes? I told you to come alone. What is this, Jasper? Some kind of ambush? How could you, damn it? How could you? I mainly just want to be able to make sure that he stays alive, but I don't think that's going to work. How do I even fight that? Like <laughs> What is this spark? One of your brilliant Do I have to use fireball on her? I think that might actually be the move. But he failed to see what the stone really was. A gift of fate. A means for us to carry out our destiny. I had thought that if I went through and fought earlier, potentially, I could keep him alive, but... It just seems like no matter what happens, he passes. No, no, you're seeing this wrong. The stone, it, it's cursed. It wants you to... Shit, damn it, I, I just don't know what to say. Surprise, Jespar. You never did. But it doesn't matter now. Go, Jespar. I've changed my mind. I got sentimental. Thought I owed you this. But I really don't. You don't understand me, just as you never understood father. And listening to you talk. I should have auto saved before I went into that fight. Kept away from you all these years. My bad. Just look at what you've become, running around and working for the kind of people father tried to bring down. I'm trying to think, what can I potentially do? So we have. We have the soil elemental. I don't think I can beat her if I go into my um other state. I haven't tried using I just power boosted her. That might have been a mistake. What? The black stone. You'll give it to me. Something bad's about to happen, and without it, we won't be able to stop it. You can keep doing whatever it is that you do, but you'll have to do it without magic. I'm sorry if this isn't what you wanted to hear. So, this is why you really came. You want the stone for yourself. What did they pay you just far, huh? What? No. <sighs> Go. Adila, I... Go! As you wish. I'm sorry. You okay. Oh, not the one I wanted. Focus. And then... Wait, so she's not just gonna get immediately violent at me? What? Who are you? I thought so. Why 
Why are her fireballs so much bigger than mine? <laughs> what the hell? Her fireballs explode. Mine don't. <laughs> trying to think of what I can do. I should have known he wouldn't have come alone. He up the stone, you know. But no, even better. Oh, shit. He doesn't give a oh, damn shit. about me. He came, yes, but because of the stone. Because some fucking snob hired him to get it from me. By the god. I don't know you, but if my brother showed you this place, he trusted you. But if you make even one wrong move, I will crush you. And believe what I see is that for the first time in decades, Sorry, I'm skipping quite a little bit. Perspective, a reason why I am still alive and my brothers and fathers aren't. If this is the stone manipulating me, then I'm grateful for it. With this power, I can do what father only dreamt of. The greater good. Sure. Don't say I didn't give you a choice. I managed. It really does suck to lose just far, though. There's a good man. Anyways. I can't even just teleport using that. Okay. What if I use my return? Yeah, so I just can't do that. Cool. Uh. Hello? Do not like that. Let's scare the shit out of me. Death calls us to him. <laughs> it is bitter, is it not? You are angry because you blame me for the death of your friend. But I only did what had to be done. You are furious about the danger I brought upon you. But what would have happened if I hadn't been there in that ship? Let us dare a glimpse, Prophet. A glimpse into the reality which you prefer. Three hours after your brawl, Captain Rosio's ship enters the harbor of Ark. You wait until the noise falls silent, and together with your friend, you sneak onto the deck. You almost make it. A few arm's lengths from the safety of the dock, a sailor named Rajik takes note of your presence. There is no need for an explanation as to who you are. And maybe on a normal day, Rajik would have let you run. But 
not today. For years, he has been eagerly awaiting his promotion to become a petty officer of the eighth class. And yet today, it was announced that his loathed rival had won it instead of him. And how angry he is. How furious. And who knows? Maybe it is not too late. What better way to impress the captain than to be the one who discovers two stowaways who have eaten the crew's bread for a month? From there, it ends quickly. One sword for your neck, the other one for your friends. And no one to grant you a second life this time. But that is not what happened. The first beat of a wing, and where are you now? You have abilities others wouldn't even dare to dream of. You can hear the echo of the future, and you will make decisions whose extent even you will barely understand. So tell me, Prophet, isn't that a fate preferable to the other? You accuse me of lying, and your doubts are justified, for I cannot see the future. However, there is no need for that. All that is required is a glimpse beyond the surface. And suddenly it becomes clear that we are nothing but a sea of endless possibilities. And if one listens long enough, the shapeless takes on form and the unfathomable becomes tangible. Um... Why, why are we questioning whether or not she can see the future when we can see the past that we never even witnessed? You wonder whether I belong to those whom you fight. But no, I do not. The High Ones, humanity, the emissaries, these are but elements of the game. I am more than that. You think my intention is to disconcert you, but you're wrong. I am here because you think it was I who took someone you cared for. And although you err, I do not like being seen as a destroyer. Which is why I will wipe away my debt, which was never there to begin with. Step back. Oh, is she gonna bring Jaspar back? I sure do love being flashbanged. Uh, uh, that's my name. But Adila, what happened? Um. That. But. I only remember a flash of fire, and then... Darkness. Everything's so... Blurry. Yeah, that's because you were dead. Uh-huh. What? But... <sighs> okay. Okay, I... I'm sorry, but... This is all just a little too much. Please, just... Just give me some time with my sister, alright? Go back to Ark with that bloody stone. Go anywhere, but please, just leave me alone. I don't know, the stone didn't look too bloody when I picked it up, but... Now will let me, since I had that interaction with her. Okay. 
gosh, this is going to be a long video. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm actually going to call it here. Uh, we can bring this down next episode. I just don't want it to be like a 45 minute hour long video. It's already going to be pushing 30. Um, so yeah, y'all have a great morning, middle of your day, evening, nighttime, whatever it is. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.